Today, uh, in this video, I'm going to explain to you how to work with all of your individual verbs. In my previous uh, video, I have explained uh, your individual verb number one, uh, that is titled uh, transitive and intransitive verbs. And today, I'm going to explain um, how you would work with the, the rest um, of uh, nine of your individual verbs. They are all connected with your pick out book uh, and uh, let me start uh, to explain you the assignment you have to complete uh, as an individual verb. Uh, here I'll show you uh, the PDF book of your pick out book with pages. Actually I have provided you with all the pages so uh, comparing your uh, syllabus and what I am showing right now you can uh, manage it, I think, without any problem. So uh, the second uh, individual verb is on page 71. Uh, 71, exercise 8B. Uh, just uh, as a, an introduction, read the A. Why do people tell, tell lies about their life and when might you tell a lie? So uh, as you see uh, and you have in your syllabus, uh, your uh, topic is called would you tell a lie in this situation give your opinion so in b uh, there are three opinions um, to discuss so you can use um, i'm sorry not opinions uh, situations so you can use any situation to give your opinion about this situation if uh, you can choose one or two or three if you think uh, you cannot write a lot about one situation so it's no ideas come to your mind, you just wrote uh, five or six sentences, then you can um, touch all three topics, situations. So you can write a little bit about one, a little bit about situation two, and uh, a bit about situation three, so that it makes at least uh, one page. Uh, the next one is, uh, it is on page 75. It's uh, about blog, let me find 75. Okay, 75, it's exercise uh, 8B. Um, you see, uh, write a blog or a diary. So uh, you should write a blog or a diary about your new experience. So if you go to B, uh, write a blog, a diary about your new experience. Uh, so to help you with uh, writing this um, topic, uh, you can uh, go to A, it's on the left. So here are questions that can help you to uh, create your ideas, to uh, write about this uh, topic. So you can uh, read this question in 7A and then switch to 8B and write your blog or diary about new here above in 8a, you have a short story of, of someone's experience at university, about university life. So you can also write about your university, you are freshman, uh, it was a new experience for you this year. So it's also close to your heart. So you can write about this too. But uh, I don't want to force you to write only about your university experience. You can write any experience you have. Uh, then you go to page uh, 87. Okay. Let's see. 87. Let me find it. 84. Yeah. That's 87. Do you remember uh, we had this uh, unit 8.1 money makers about money? So uh, here you have exercise one. Uh, on the left, you have 10 questions. How do you spend your money? So reading these uh, sentences uh, and writing at least uh, one or two sentences, it depends on your sentence, but please give clear and complete answer. You uh, answering these 10 questions, you will complete your individual verb number four. How do you spend your money? 
example, your first question is, do you usually pay by cash or credit card when you buy things? By the way, you can say buy cash and in cash or buy credit card when you buy things. So write, write about your uh, daily uh, things like uh, with money, uh, do you use credit card, do you pay in cash, uh, and so on. Uh, you can also write uh, not about yourself, maybe about our society, uh, what do we use a lot, if you don't have ideas. That's the kind of suggestion I give you, if you don't have ideas about yourself, you can write in, in general. So, 10 sentences, uh, 10 questions, and mm, more than 10 sentences, of course. Uh, next one is number five, famous products. Uh, actually, uh, we, uh, I, I was planning um, to have a presentation, like uh, I would like to give you as a task to prepare a presentation on famous products, but uh, due to the circumstances that, uh, in, uh, due to the situation we are right now, we cannot do this presentation, but uh, we, I will ask you to uh, take this uh, product, Famous product. Let me see. On page 79, you have picture of the product. Exercise 7. So you see, we are very famous product. We know them all. 7. Yeah. So you have uh, three questions here, but uh, that's not it. Uh, you can add more and more because these are very popular items and uh, you can write, I think you can write a lot about these items, but uh, try to be within the frames of these questions too. For, it, for instance, the first question is, which of these things do you have or use? Who uses them? Why do you think they are popular? Which do you think will still be, in the, uh, will still be popular in the future? So uh, here you see cola. Cola, it has been around for so long and so far. And do you think it, it will still be popular in the future? Or uh, smartphones, uh, the essential and uh, inseparable parts of our lives. So you can choose any item, choose only one, so, uh, and write about this item. Uh, touch these questions, but uh, also add some of your ideas your opinion about this product and uh, about uh, this product in your life. So it's uh, not so difficult and I think it's, it will be very interesting. You can uh, do research, uh, research on this item, uh, find out some information about this and also add your opinion. Uh, next we go to page 980. Uh, page 80, exercise 1, uh, B, C. It's your individual work, number 6. Read the messages and un answer the questions. So, uh, which messages? Here you have messages from uh, A to F, you see in blue boxes. Um, you read these uh, messages and then uh, you go uh, to B. You, here you have questions. Who thinks they should get more money because they make people happy, they do more than one job, and so on. So here, uh, you, uh, to show uh, the answers, you will just use A, B, C. So if you think A uh, makes, uh, thinks that money makes people happy, you will write A. If you think no, not A. B said that uh, money makes people happy, you write next to your question B. So for this, uh, you can um, type all these um, uh, extracts uh, and then answer your questions. Uh, but if you have opportunity to make a copy, opportunity to make a copy, so you can copy this page, uh, try to copy this part, uh, the left part, and uh, uh, just uh, add your sentences and that's it. But if you don't have this opportunity, so uh, you can just um, type it and write your questions and answers uh, close to, next to your question. Um, 
The next one is seven, it's on page 85. Let's go to page 85. On page 85, uh, we'll uh, go to exercise 18, it's here on the right. So, uh, but before doing 8B, uh, this is a, a website entry for a competition. Uh, before that, uh, to, you can use, uh, you can read um, A, there is an advertisement for a competition and one of the entries. So this is kind of a model example for you uh, to complete your task B. You see in task B, you write an entry for the competition, explain your uh, what your idea is, how it's different from other ideas, and what would you do with the money. Use the model above to help you. You see, it also uh, sends you to exercise A. Here, people write about the plans, uh, for a competition entry, like about their ideas, about uh, how much money they need for that. So uh, using this model uh, will help you to uh, write your ideas about this topic. I think that's uh, clear. Um, that was your verb number uh, seven. So now let's go to page 90. This is uh, here we have something different from previous ones. You have to check, uh, to check uh, about the attack and a surprise meeting. Here you will do two kinds of verbs. You will uh, work with vocabulary, uh, uh, trying to find uh, uh -huh, page 19. So you see, uh, you have a blue, in the blue box, you have two check, B attack and a surprise meeting. How you will work with this one? Uh, go to exercise, I'm sorry, uh -huh. 2A, 4 and 5A. So in 2A, in 2A, guys, uh, you have bold verbs, a uh, phrase, rural area, natural beauty, beautiful scenery, wildlife center, and etc. Uh, please uh, write the meanings of this uh, phrase. Uh, you can, uh, uh, you don't need to use a vocabulary or any dictionary. Just uh, try to write uh, the meanings uh, the way you understand them. These are simple. Uh, after doing 2A, you go to 4. Uh, in exercise 4, you have questions. Uh, they are connected with these two uh, checks, a surprise meeting and a B attack. So you answer these questions and then uh, you um, go to 5A. Again, you work with vocabulary. You have some words here, disturbed disappear and things like that to fall pull off i'm sorry uh, and in parentheses you have been indicated the paragraphs you have to work with and to find your verb in this paragraph so it will uh, make your work easier because you have been indicated where to search for them so you find these um words and uh their uh, write their meaning Okay, um, this is like uh, with uh, this page, page uh, you can also uh, copy this page so that you can add this text too. But if you don't have such an opportunity, uh, okay, uh, I don't ask you to type all this text uh, because it will take your time. Just um, write the title, the attack and the surprise meeting and uh, do your task. Okay, uh, find the meanings of your verb, uh, answer your questions, and again, find the words from the text. Uh, work like this. Uh, you can make it simpler. Uh, it's okay. The next one is uh, unit, exercise nine. Uh, I'm sorry, individual work nine. 
uh, it's on page 101. I'm sorry. 101. Exercise 3. One hundred and three, yes, we one hundred and one. So let's go to back. Yeah. One hundred and one. Then move it. Exercise three here uh, in exercise B. Yeah. You see it actually this is about prime topic. So you see it of you know, the person who does this crime, who commits this crime, crime itself, what is this punishment? What is the punishment of this crime? And uh, this criminal. So, for instance, the first one is criminal C. Uh, then what is the, the crime is called theft. Theft, and what is the punishment? Its uh, punishment is prison. So, you can uh, say, how will we find the punishments and the crimes? Of course, you can work with the but it will uh, be made complicated for you. Uh, so, I have to. Uh, Go to exercise two uh, A. In A, you have a and the punishment fit the crime. So in this exercise, you see in this text you see bold words. So here you will uh, find, and not only with bold words, uh, if you read the whole text, you will find the crimes, uh, the criminals, and also uh, you will find the punishment for this. Uh, for instance, uh, let's see if uh, we take. Uh, uh, let's go down. Uh -huh. If we uh, look at this crime, it's called uh, writing graffiti. It's when uh, usually teenagers and young people they write to they like to uh, paint uh, the walls of the streets, um, and uh, this is uh, called writing graffiti. But uh, it also has a punishment for this, and, and this punishment, as you see here, the normal punishment for this is a fine. Fine is Rus Dilinda Straf, Azerbaijan Dilinda, Jerime. So if you place uh, your uh, writing graffiti here uh, for crime, you find the criminal. Uh, what is this person called and your punishment I won't say you will have to find out and your punishment will be just a fine they are not uh, taken to prison they are fined with money and uh, you will work with the rest of the uh, so if crime is here you see so it will be helpful. I think uh, you will uh, find uh, most, not all of them. Just let me um, warn you. Not all of them, but most of them you will find in a uh, page. And you can uh, add uh, and complete your table with the help of that exercise. But if you don't have the answer here, of course, uh, you have to work with your vocabulary to try to find criminals, crimes, and punishments. And your individual work nine is on page one fifteen. One hundred and fifteen. Let me go down there. Uh, it's also about a kind of let's say web blog. You will have to write uh, about technology, whether it's good or bad. Uh, so uh, different countries from uh, India, UK, they wrote their opinion about the uh, technology, whether it's good or bad. Um, I would like you also to write. Let's go to 15. I would like you also to write about uh, the technology. It's uh, you know, the essential part of our life, too. Um, so let's see. Okay, but with your books, it will be easier. With PDF, uh, this is the last one. About to finish. 
Uh, so your individual work, your last work on page 103. So it's a size it will be again model. So you see here people, foreign countries, not a bad thing. Uh, different countries, India, okay, they write about the knowledge, but we all call it advanced knowledge. So you ask to go to your comment using the structure below. So uh, you write about uh, your opinion, you write your opinion about knowledge and uh, this structure. So uh, to help you uh, with the phrase used, uh, you also, uh, go to the phrase. You can uh, use uh, this phrase too to, uh, to uh, give your ideas and your opinion. So guys, uh, this was your last uh, individual work. I hope I uh, made it uh, details. Uh, you will have no problems working it. Again, if you have problems, if uh, you have some points that are not clear for you, you can anytime uh, contact me on Edmodo. Uh, I'm ready to answer your questions or uh, through WhatsApp, uh, it doesn't matter. Just uh, feel free to contact me and um, uh, clarify the points you don't understand. Uh, that's all for now. Uh, thank you for, uh, for your attention and see you in next video. Bye.